Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Order 23 for this year, appointing commissioners at the National Institution for Human Rights, which include full time and part time members. Firstly, full time members Saeed Mohammed Al Fayhani, Abdullah Ahmed Al Durazi, Dr. Aisha Salem Saif Mubarak, and Maria Anton Khouri. Secondly, part time members Dr. Badr Mohammed Adil, Dina Abdurrahman Al Lidhi, Dr. Hamid Ahmed Abdullah Hussein, and Dr. Rodha Salman Mohsen Al Aradi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences and sympathy to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, over the 12 Saudi armed forces servicemen who passed away in a helicopter crash in Ma'rib while performing their duty as part of the Arab coalition in support of the legitimacy in Yemen. In the cable, His Majesty the King expressed sincere condolences and sympathy, praying to Allah Almighty to bestow patience and solace upon the families and relatives of the deceased. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace a board of directors of the Protestant Church of the United States and board members of the American Mission Hospital. His Majesty welcomed the audience and praised the capabilities and expertise and efforts of the hospital in providing the best services for the people of Bahrain. He pointed out the medical achievements made by the American Mission Hospital and its contributions in enhancing medical care and services in the kingdom for over 120 years. His Majesty hailed the historic friendly relations linking Bahrain and the U.S. and the strong cooperation in all fields. He affirmed that the kingdom is an open country that welcomes all cultures in one society and added that Bahrain embraces uh, the practice of various religions and will always remain a model of forgiveness and coexistence. The directors of the Protestant Church and the board members of the American Mission Hospital praised the bilateral relations and experts expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his continuous support praising the values of coexistence and openness of the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, over the 12 Saudi Armed Forces servicemen who passed away in a helicopter crash in Ma'rib while performing their duty as part of the Arab coalition in support of the legitimacy in Yemen. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed sincere condolences and sympathy, praying to Allah Almighty to bestow patience and solace upon the families and relatives of the deceased. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also sent two similar cables of condolences to the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Interior Minister, His Royal Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nayef bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and uh, to the Saudi Deputy Crown Prince, Second Deputy Premier and Defence Minister, His Royal Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Lady Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of condolences to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, over the 12 Saudi Armed Forces servicemen who passed away in a helicopter crash in Ma'rib while performing their duty as part of the Arab coalition in support of the legitimacy in Yemen. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed sincere condolences and sympathy, praying to Allah Almighty to bestow patience and solace upon the families and relatives of the deceased. His Royal Highness uh, the Crown Prince also sent two similar cables of condolences to the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Interior Minister, His Royal Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nayef bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and to Saudi Deputy Crown Prince, Second Deputy Premier and Defense Minister, His Royal Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. 
On behalf of His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa received today the Arab Development Work Leadership Shield from the Arab League. A ceremony was held in the Arab League headquarters in Cairo in appreciation for His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's efforts in the fields of development and supporting Arab joint action. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister is the first Arab leader to receive this award, which was launched this year and that is granted to Arab figures who contribute effectively to the development of Arab action. The Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abu al presented the award to the Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali in the presence of senior officials, politicians, media figures and Arab diplomats. Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali delivered a speech in which he expressed pride in being deputized by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to receive the award. He also conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the Arab League and its Secretary General for his honoring, which reflects the appreciation of the Arab League to the efforts exerted by Bahrain towards development in various fields. Sheikh Ali affirmed the pride of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in receiving this honoring, which comes in recognition of His Royal Highness's role in serving his country and defending the issues of the Arab and Islamic nations. He added that Bahrain succeeded in setting an example of comprehensive and sustainable development under the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Sheikh Ali also noted the efforts of the Arab League in supporting Arab integration and solidarity, wishing it further success in meeting the Arab people's aspirations of development and stability. The Arab League Secretary General started the ceremony with a speech in which he praised the achievements of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. The speech was followed by a documentary on the achievements of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in the fields of economic, political, industrial and social, social development in Bahrain. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Ibrahim al mutawwa former Secretary General of the Arab League, Amr Musa and the former Prime Minister and uh, former Chairman of the Senate in Jordan, Abdel Raouf Rawabda, delivered a speech speech in which they affirmed the eligibility of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in receiving this award as a recognition of his efforts. The ceremony included a photo gallery that showed the efforts of Bahrain in developing various sectors. The ceremony also included the launch of the book Khalifa bin Salman Leadership that made history, which was issued by the Gulf Center for Strategic Studies and highlights the achievements of Bahrain in various fields. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa met today with Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abu Al Ghait in Cairo in the presence of former Arab League Secretary General Amru Al Amin, former Prime Minister Abdel Raouf Al Rawabda, and former Speaker of the Senate. Deputy Prime Minister conveyed the thanks and appreciation of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa for this great honor and his wishes for further success for the Arab League. Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa hailed the role of the Arab League in enhancing Arab joint action on all levels and its efforts in achieving Arab integration to overcome all challenges. He affirmed Bahrain's support to the efforts of the Arab League that contributes to the achievement and the aspiration
aspirations of the Arab nation and achieves further progress and prosperity. Arab League Secretary General welcomed the visit of Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa and praised the role of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on the Arab level and contributions in serving Arab issues. He wished Bahrain and its leadership and people further progress and prosperity. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the re or reopening of the authentic Al Khalifa Library in a new building in the heart of Muharraq was celebrated today, praising the efforts of Bahrain's Authority for Culture and Antiquities. More in this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. Protecting Bahrain's cultural movement and preserving its heritage. The opening of the new building of one of the oldest libraries in Bahrain, dating back to 1954, offers a rich collection of books and valuable publications. Being the dividend of an initiative launched last year, asking the public to submit the books they possess carrying the stamp of Al Khalifiya Library. Wonderful opening this morning. Uh, of course, we're in the heart of the old city. We're in the heart of Muharraq. It's the opening of uh, Maktab al Khalifiya, al Khalifiya Library, which was a very important landmark. Um, it opened its doors for the public in the 1950s. We're very happy to reopen the library, inviting audiences, readers from you know from different generations, from all age groups, to come and join us. The library also contains a number of publications of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, which put lots of efforts to complete the project and an outstanding collection offered by the family of late Mohammed Al-Banki. Sponsored by the BBK, Al Khalifiya Library project was designed by a Dutch architecture company in cooperation with a Bahraini one. Both were very proud of their contribution. It started with a problem. And the problem was that we wanted to build here a little library, but the plot was extremely small, too small to build on. Um, so the first thing we did was um, do some investigations on how we could enlarge the, uh, the usable area. We are extremely happy because we have never built a project so far away from home that was executed so well. Lying in the heart of Old Muharraq, the new building is made up of three floors with balconies consisting of a reading hall, a research center and a computer lab and offices. The move reflects sincere keenness to engage the public in preserving the civilizational and cultural heritage of Bahrain. Since books give soul to the universe, wings to the mind, fly to the imagination and life to everything, today we celebrate the opening of Al Khalifa Library to give even more soul to beautiful Muharraq. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Hiba Abdul Ghafur. Under the patronage of His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah bin Ahmed Al Jabir al Sabah, the international competition for memorization and recital of the Holy Quran was held today in Bayan Palace. The competition brought together 125 participants from 70 countries. Bahraini contestant Mahanna Al Bu'ainin has won first place in memorizing the Holy Quran, while Muhammad Samir came second in fine recital of the Holy Quran. Such achievements is attributed to the the care provided by Bahrain to Quran memorization and recital. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah and let's start with the local stocks. As Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,339.56 points, marking an increase of 1.70 points above the previous closing. 
The increase was in the commercial banks, insurance and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the services sectors, representing 57% of the total value of shares traded. Results indicated that 42 equity transactions took place with a volume of 1,304,036 shares worth 518,751 Bahraini dinars. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Al Zayani, attended the Bahrain British Business Forum's Special Interest Group for Young Professionals that was recently hosted at the Bahrain Boris at Harbour Gate, was attended by over 80 young professionals and members from a variety of Bahrain's business sectors. Al Zayani discussed Bahrain's current economic circumstances and the outlook for the remainder of the year. He encouraged the young professionals and budding entrepreneurs uh, to confidently grab opportunities to establish operations, work hard, and grow beyond the borders of Bahrain. Bahrain's Young Professionals, SIG, was set up with the mission to provide its members access to the kingdom's largest and most prolific business association and its vast network. The organization holds a number of social and business networking events throughout the year.